In this video, I give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the long and short position tool in TradingView. I've been able to use this tool to help limit my risk and become a consistently profitable trader. I want to show you exactly how I use it and how it can help make you a better trader right away. Okay, so let's start with the long position tool. I'm going to use an actual trade that I called out today, February 14th, uh, for the members of our Discord group. Um, if you want to check out the Discord group and get alerts like this every day, then check out the link in the description below. Um, so I posted that I would be getting long on ES at 49.86.25 with a profit target of 49.91.75 and a stop loss of 49.83. Uh, before I entered the trade, I went to my drawing toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen, clicked on the arrow uh, next to the fifth icon and found the long position drawing tool which is the very first option so right here long position tool um, the reason i took this trade uh, i had a support zone right here um, i saw a trend line breaking out the overall trend in the market has been to the upside and i wanted to catch a move to get in on that long uh, that upwards trend uh, so that's why i took the trade um, my entry again was 49.86.25. I wanted to get in on the breakout above this trend line. So 49.86.25 with a stop of 49.83. 49.83, which you'll see is right below uh, the low of this candle. Uh, and then a profit target of 49.91.75 which is right below this white line, which is the VWAP indicator, the volume weighted average price. Okay, so um, I placed the tool right here, um, clicked on the 49.86.25. Um, I dragged my stop loss down to the 49.83 level. I dragged my target, profit target, up to my target of 49.91.75. Um, if you want to make some manual adjustments so when this tool is is placed um, it might not be exactly uh, where you want it um, you can drag it up and down like i did or you can double click on it and you can use the data box so the data box uh, from top to bottom is pretty straightforward uh, when i first started uh, using trading view it was a little bit confusing for me i couldn't find a lot of um, helpful information so this is the reason that i'm making this video um, so from the top to the bottom the inputs here you want to put in your account size so i've put in ten thousand us dollars lot size is best left at one uh, especially when you're trading futures that means that my the normal amount of contracts i take is one um, if you normally take more than one, then you can change it, but I find it best to leave it just at one and then use the risk box to adjust my sizing. And you'll see how that works out in just a second. So um, my sizing today for today's trading was a risk of about $325. So you can, I just typed in 325 USD. Um, you can also change that to a percentage. So if instead of having a set dollar amount of how much you want to risk, you can change this from USD to percent, and you can type in a percent of the amount that of your account size that you want to trade. So let's say I want to trade um, no more than 2% or risk more than 2% of my account size, then I would just type in 2. Um, and that's going to change the drawing tool numbers over here. And I'll show you how, how that's affected in just a second. Um, if I want to change my entry price, so my entry price was supposed to be 49.86.25. Um, it's at 49.85.50. I can simply use these arrows to adjust it per tick, or I can just type it in 49.86.25 right there. Okay, profit level. So on my call out, on my alert that I sent out to my Discord group, um, I said my profit target is 49.91.75 um, and a stop loss of 49.83. Same deal here. You can adjust 
um, your profit level by just clicking the up and down arrows. You can do it by the amount of ticks you want to earn if this trade works out in your favor, or you can do it by the actual price, or you can type in a number in any one of these and it will automatically adjust your actual drawing tool on the chart over here. So I'm going to type in my profit target of 49.91.75, and then I'm going to type in my stop loss of 49.83. And you'll see over here that the drawing tool has been adjusted to reflect that. Um, if I want to move it over, um, I can just click on it, click, uh, click the left or right arrow on my keypad. Um, I can click up and down, it'll move the whole tool, or I can just grab the middle of this thing and move it up and down as I see fit. So 49.86.25. Um, so reading the drawing tool, um, that could be a little bit confusing as well. So we'll go through that um, item by item here. So uh, right here in the middle, it'll give you a few little different pieces of information. Um, from the top, it tells you what your target data is. So um, my target is 5.5 points, okay? Um, that's 22 ticks. And this amount is the amount that I will make if price hits my target. So um, I'll make $338.46. And I know that because my account size is 10,000. So 10,000 will go up to $10,338.48. So this is my new account balance if the trade works out. Um, at the bottom, it's the stop loss. So it's just the opposite. I'm risking 3.25 points or 13 ticks. Um, and the amount that I'll have in my account if I lose this trade will be $9,800, $9,800. Right in the middle, um, it gives you a little bit more of some live data. So it'll tell you what your actual open P&L is right now, your open profit and loss. So uh, this trade, uh, since price is down here currently, um, my open P&L is negative 1.25 points. So I'm down 1.25 on the trade. Um, the quantity, which is my favorite part of using the long and the short position tool, the quantity, this is telling me how many contracts I can take. And I say contracts because I'm trading the S&P 500 futures, which is contracts versus, you know, if you trade stocks, you're talking about shares. Um, but the quantity tells me I can take 1.231 contracts. So I'm going to usually round that down. Um, if it's under like one, if it's a, if it's under 1.75, I'm usually going to round down. I try to stay pretty conservative in managing my risk. Um, I usually don't want to go over the amount um, that I'm supposed to risk. And the reason, the way that it knows um, how many contracts I can take is I've told it right here, I want to risk. 2% of my $10,000 account. And the drawing tool tells me um, if I want to risk no more than 2% of my $10,000 account, then I can trade up to 1.231 contracts. Now with futures, you can't risk fractions of a contract. Um, so I'm going to just trade one contract. So this number up here for my, my amount, my balance, if the account works out, that's going to be a little bit off because it is going based off of 1.231 contracts, but it's close enough. So like I said earlier, um, I like to use USD. Um, I was risking $325 on this trade. Um, and you can see over here on the quantity, it's changed to two. Um, if I'm my, that's based off of my entry point to my stop loss. If I'm risking 3.25 points um, and every point for every contract on the S&P 500 futures is $50, then two contracts is $100 a point. So at 3.25 points, I'm risking three, $325 if I use two contracts. So again, this is my favorite part of this tool is it tells me how many, how many contracts 
I can risk and stay at my predefined uh, risk per trade. Um, so I don't have to do any quick math. I don't have to use a calculator. I just use this tool to tell me how many contracts I should take. Um, and you'll see if I risk more points, I drag this stop loss thing down, um, you'll see the quantity starts to reduce. So more points means more risk per contract, which means I can't take as many if I have a, a wider stop loss on this trade. And vice versa, if I go with a tighter stop, it's going to tell me I can use more contracts to take this trade and stay at my predefined risk of no more than $325. Okay, so that's that. That's my favorite part of it. Um, my The next best part about this is it tells you your risk to reward ratio. Um, so on this trade, I'm risking 3.25 points to make 5.5 points, which means my risk to reward ratio is 1.69. Now, for me personally, if it's at least 1.5, I will consider taking the trade. If it's less than 1.5, I'm going to most likely pass on the trade. Uh, unless I'm just scalping, but 99% of the time, if it's less than a 1.5 risk to reward ratio, I'm going to pass on that trade. So this is another really easy way to just have instant information about your risk to reward ratio on your trade. And if it's, you know, if it's, if it meets your minimum requirements uh, for risk to reward to actually take a trade. Okay. So how did this trade play out? Um, we'll just move this forward a little bit. So um, it triggered um got into the trade at 49.86.25 uh, and it pretty quickly moved in my favor um and within this is a one minute chart uh within one two three bars the trade played out it was a great trade for everybody in our group that took it um super fast they don't always work out like that uh, but when they do it's really great um, and then if you look at your profit and loss tool, your, your long position tool, it'll say closed because it went through uh, your, uh, your predefined profit target. Okay. So um, moving on, let's take a look at a trade that I took um, yesterday, which was Tuesday, February 13th. And I took that trade at let's see 8 13 a.m so i'm just going to find the 13th at 8 15 this is 8 13 um, and i'm going to use my short position tool so you can find that in the same spot as the long position tool so it's the one two three four fifth uh, icon on the left side drawing toolbar i'm going to click on the pop out arrow and then I'm going to click on short position. Okay, so at 813, um, I told everybody I was going to get short at 4983.75. Okay, so I'm going to find 4983.75, which is right here. Um, I also said that I was going to use a five point stop loss. Okay, so rather than dragging this up to five points, um, I'm going to double click on this uh, and I'm going to put in five points. Every point on the S&P 500 E-mini futures is four ticks. So four ticks times five points, that's 20 ticks. So I'm going to do 20 right here for my stop. Okay, now you see stop is five points or 20 ticks. Um, and then my profit target, I told everyone was going to be 49.64. Okay, 49.64. Oops, so I messed that up. That was supposed to be in the profit level box. So 49.64. Okay, we'll just move this bar back here so you can see exactly how it played out. Okay, so at 8.13, um, I called out the trade. At 8.14, the trade triggers. Uh, and again, um, right here, I didn't fully set up um, the short position tool. So on this one, I was also risking about $325. It told me I could take 1.3 contracts. Again, you can't do fractions of contracts, um, but it's going to give you the fraction. So I just round that down to one. 
Um, so let's see, it's five points uh, just for the sake of this video. Um, I'll adjust this risk to make it exactly one contract. So that would be $250. So $250 risk, one contract, stop loss of five points, and a profit target of 49.64 or 79 ticks, which is just under 20 points. Um, I can risk one. My risk to reward ratio on this trade is 3.95. Um, which is really good, well above that one and a half minimum that I'm looking for. Um, and you can see I'm targeting this um, support zone that I have down um, a lot lower. So just going to zoom through this pretty fast. Okay, almost got stopped out. And you can pull on the on the right side of this drawing tool where you see the little uh, left and right arrow. You can pull it over and you see this little white line will track um, with the price action as your trade is playing out. So just move forward a little bit more, I'm gonna drag this out a little bit. Okay, this trade uh, almost came back and reversed on me. Okay, and then eventually it comes down and hits my target. So closed out for 19.75 points on that one. Um, I risked one contract um, and had I lost my 30, uh, let's see, this one, $30,000 um, account size, my $30,000 account would have gone down to 29,750 if I had lost. Um, but if I won, which I did, my my account would have gained nine hundred and eighty seven dollars and fifty cents for a new uh, account amount of thirty thousand nine hundred eighty seven dollars and fifty cents. So that's how you use the long and short position tool. If you found this video helpful, then please hit the like button and subscribe for more helpful content just like this.